welcome back to the channel guys in this tutorial i want to show you how to design a social media flyer with the help of your pixel app application if you're joining us for the first time please kindly subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on notification with that said let's dive straight into the video okay so you want to delete the default text now and you know proceed to set your background size as always so the background size is 1013 by 1280 we're using 1013 by 1280 okay so once you have that you just click on the check mark and um, we want to use this uh, plain color background for this design so we want to go with uh, pink and um, but the next thing we're going to do after doing uh, achieving the background color is to go to shapes select a simple uh, circle and you want to stretch it out uh, a bit then size it up to cover the downer section of the design like this then you want to go to rotation and you know rotate this uh, just a little bit after rotating it you can as well bring it down again then lock this up the next thing we're going to do is to bring in the image that we are using so I'll share this image with you anyways and just size this image up neatly then you know position it to back all right send it to back okay good so you want to lock this up and let's go bring the logo but before we bring the logo just select a simple square shape like this make it a um, tiny rectangle up here use little position to ensure that it's on the middle then uh, give it a radius so we're increasing the radius by up to five then use place position to make sure it's on the middle after achieving this let's go bring in the logo so this is for um, an iphone store is their logo now the, the reason behind the color we are using for the background is because i i designed i derived the color from this logo you can see that part of the logo has a purple slide and a pink section so we just pick the color from there and we have this so this is okay you want to lock this up now and um, the next thing we're going to do is to go to our text and write get the latest so I have get the latest and bring it here now we are using a particular font called the popping font Poppins, and um, I just want to use popping regular for this text so reduce it a bit now this is where it gets interesting because you can go and enable your um, grid to make sure you follow a, an alignment so I'm going to trace the alignment to this margin then I delete the other grid so I can delete this one so in order to delete a grid you just need to click here right here and it will delete so make sure that it's highlighted before you click on the delete option so I have this and I'm going to leave it like that so I'm going to copy the text and write iPhone now in this design we want to emphasize on iPhone so that is why I had to you know step it up so I'm going to increase the size of iPhone and um, go to fonts i'm going to use poppins black let me see if i can use poppins black or let's go with bold um no let's check black yeah black is it's really good it's uh, bold enough and it's giving us the vibe once you have achieved this um you want to make sure that everything is perfectly aligned so i have get the latest iphone and uh, so let's lock iPhone. Then make a copy of this one and write and it's. So have and it's. 
all right bring it here um make a copy again and it's accessories so you can get and it's accessories So we're going to continue the text and it's uh, accessories at our stores so you can get the latest iphone and its accessories at our stores but i'm going to break this one now into two lines and um, just align it this way so let's see um, let's go to line spacing and reduce the line spacing neatly so let's check that out all right good so um i think everything is well in place so the next thing we're going to do is to bring in the iphone images so you can bring in your iphone images here so this is a very simple straightforward uh, design that you can achieve now we're going to send this iPhone image to the back of the white shape okay just send it to the back of uh, the white shape so how can you do that go to layer and on layer you will see this eight dots just long press on it and move it to the back of the shape directly above the image okay so you are good to go make it here also then make sure that uh, it's aligning it doesn't cross the line make sure that it doesn't cross this line the alignment option that we had here now click on ok and um, go back to shape select uh, this square shape make it a tiny rectangle though and bring it here so now we're going to alter the color we're still going to give it a pink background uh, color all right then uh, let's bring it down a bit and the next thing we're going to do is to copy this and write get in touch so let's write this Please kindly subscribe to the channel and make sure that you turn your notification on. If you are still not understanding what we are doing here, it just means you have refused to subscribe to the channel. So kindly subscribe to the channel and turn on notification guys in order to fully understand the video. Now we are going to you know, shift this upward a bit, make it centralized. Then we are going to write the contact details, but before we do that, um, let's bring in the icons so I'm going to bring in some of the icons we are going to be using I'm going to give the Instagram handle let's reduce the size guys reduce the size to about four bring it down here now um, you can choose to continue with the pop the, with the pink color or you go back to the logo here and pick another color from there so this is the text is going to be on the white background um, what we're going to do is to pick a color that is not bright all right so we're going to pick a color that is um, you know kind of a black color so it can um, correspond with the white background so go to color enable your color and uh, use the color at the plus button on the color bar here then you want to use the color picker option so use color picker choose the layer that has color, uh, the logo and neatly select uh, from here the second slide on the logo because we want this dark blue color here all right so click on your check mark and uh, you are good to go now this depends on you you can as well use like i said you can still use the pink color for that but 
I think it's monotonous, so that's why we just had to use another different uh, slide of color. Now the next thing I'm going to do is bring in the WhatsApp handle, and yeah, I have the WhatsApp handle here. Just reduce it also to about it. Change the color to the same thing, but I think it's bigger than the the other Instagram uh, picture. So we try to reduce the size. And now what we're going to do is to align them properly. After aligning them this way, copy this text and write the Instagram handle. So on Instagram, you will find this phone store at uh, smart underscore phones, smart underscore um, phones. If you are someone who is not understanding, it just means you have refused to subscribe to the channel. And also because you have barely refused to turn on your notification so can you do that in order to follow it up so this is what we have smartphone and um, I'm going to copy this and write the uh, contact number so it's just a random contact number and we bring this here all right good now uh, if you look at this section of the design is to the, the 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 white uh, white spaces here which is of course good for every design is too much so what we're going to do is to bring in some destructive elements here now how do we do that just go to your text type a new text uh leave it a letter arrow all right so um Go to fonts. I'm going to use a script font here uh, called the Amsterdam 2 font, or you can use any other script font. Can increase the size uh, drastically. After increasing the, the size, give it the same pink color. Then go to your paddling, paddle out the, the, the text to the left and the right. All right, so we have something like this. Now, look at what we're going to do. Just going to you know keep this one here then make a copy bring this one like so all right can you see that good so with this we are done with our design already so when you check here everything is well in place the alignment and everything is is good all right so we can remove the grid lines and see how the design looks okay so i think we can increase the size of this image a bit just so we can bring it to focus now one thing is very important um when you are designing make sure that your image you know has a link with um, the information on your design uh, like you can see the, the the design is talking about uh, getting iphone and its accessories at the stores so you want to put an image that communicates this you want to see an image that is excited surprised and all of that this is the language that your image should communicate in order to help the design flow uh, properly so guys that's it for this simple yet quite interesting social media design i just decided to share it with you thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed can you do so and don't forget to save your work as png and ultra the reason for this is just for better uh, quality saving all right if you like you can now take this design into other editing uh, applications like pixart and uh, the snap it will also improve the general look on the design but for this one i just want to leave it uh, like so all right so i'll be hoping to see you in our next video thank you so much for watching see you in the next tutorial. God bless you.